Okay, so I'm just going to look at multi-job invoicing at the moment. So um, the multi-job invoice just uses a standard invoice template. So in the new interface, if you go business and then settings, and then go into custom templates, then you can see any invoice templates that you've got in the system. So these templates are what is used for a multi-job invoice as well. It just repeats over. So it'll be based on the invoice templates that are here. Now if I go to the job section, I can see all jobs that I've got in the system. And I can see I've got lots of jobs for similar clients here as well. So if I go to business and then work in progress, I'll then be able to see all of the jobs in the system and also see the costs and the time that's accrued against them to date. So in this demo system, if I go list, I'll just click on the client column to put them in client order. And I can now see jobs that have uh, time, cost, billing, and so on against them. So if I go and find these couple of jobs, this one here, and so on, just pick some jobs that have some time against them, and invoice. The main thing I want to do here is group the invoice by client rather than by job. If I group it by job, then it's going to be one job, one invoice. If I group it by client, then it's all going to wrap up into one invoice. So I'm not 100% sure, no, I was about to say, I'm not 100% sure if they've got any draft invoices. I'll just take those ones off and just run it again just so that it works through. So now one invoice has been created for the two jobs. And if I view that, then I can see it just here. And so it's corporate branding, comma, job name. Oh, actually, sorry, that's one from the fifth. That's one I created previously. Brochure and January brochure is the one that I've just created. So if I go in here, I can approve that invoice, um, but I'll just print it first of all just to show you how it looks. So I'll use this. Um, standard invoice type here. And so here we can see the uh, invoice number obviously is draft at the moment, but when I approve it, it will go real invoice. And I can see here, so this is job name, job number, job description, uh, the tasks and costs, and then a complete subtotal at the bottom. Um, so effectively a normal invoice for us would be this section here, and then a total at the bottom, and it's just repeating that section single per job. Um, obviously, if I change the type of invoice that I'm using, so if I do one, for example, total only, then it's not going to show a breakdown um, here. It's just going to show job number, job name, description, and total here. So we can kind of make that template look exactly as we need to, um, but it's just a slightly different workflow. Ideally, if the similar template can be used um, and just repeat the information, then great.